Hi friends, hope you are doing great. Today we are going to see about the transfer service. So we are going to see the theory part and we are going to see the demo also transfer service. For example, if you have the uh, files from Amazon Web Services, in Amazon Web Services we have the simple storage service. From simple storage service to Google Cloud Storage we can transfer the files. So, but uh, today we are going to see that one only, but actually I don't have that Amazon bucket. Instead of that, I can use uh, from cloud storage to cloud storage only. Okay, so that's what we are using this transfer service. Just uh, some overview of the transfer service which I have given now. Okay, let's discuss about this transfer service. Storage transfer service allows us to quickly import online data into cloud storage. We can also set up a repeating schedule for transferring data as well as transfer data within cloud storage from one bucket to another. It is complete large scale online data transfers from online and on premises sources to cloud storage. Again, I am going to explain the same only. What is storage transfer service? Storage transfer service is a product that enables us to move or backup data to a cloud storage bucket either from other cloud storage providers such as Microsoft Azure, Amazon Web Services, Rackspace or from your on-premises storage. Next point, move data from one cloud storage bucket to another so that it is available to different groups of users or applications. It is periodically move data as part of a data processing pipeline or analytical workflow. Next, we have other Google Cloud transfer options also, which is include transfer appliance for moving offline data, large data sets or data from a source within with limited bandwidth. So this is like a one, uh, we can say device tra transfer appliance. Okay. Next one is BigQuery data transfer service. This is to move data from software as a service applications to BigQuery. Then last one. Transfer service for on-premises data to move data from your on-premises machines to cloud storage. Okay, St storage storage transfer service provides options that make data transfers and synchronization easier. For example, we can schedule one-time transfer operations or recurring transfer op operations. Then second point, delete existing objects in the dis destination bucket if they don't have a corresponding object in the source. So no need to worry about these examples. We are going to see the demo. You can watch the demo. Then that time only you can understand these points. Third point, delete data source objects after transferring them. Schedule periodic synchronization from a data source to a data sync with advanced filters based on file creation dates, file names, and the time of, times of the day you prefer to import data. Sounds, yeah friends. Now we have done with that uh, theory part. Now we are going to see the demo okay okay before going to that already we have uh, seen the block storage as well as the object storage so difference between the block and object storage here we have the block storage which is persistent disk and object storage that is cloud storage so block storage persistent disk block storage it is for compute virtual machines object storage that is immutable blobs like videos or pictures then about block storage it is a your hard disk object storage it is available over web application programming interface then block storage it is more like network storage servers interact with the volume over the network in object storage if your applications may have images and video those images and video stored in cloud storage then in block storage can be accessed by only one machine or compute instance at a time but object storage object storage can be accessed by multiple machine then final point storage for uh, compute this is object storage it is storing media blob storage so we have done with the uh, transfer service uh, theory part and we have seen the difference between the block and object storage
now let's we will move to transfer service lab so before going to that okay friends actually we will cover that uh, in our next video i'm sorry for that because actually 15 minutes only the time it's has given in youtube uh, below 15 minutes only i can upload the video so now the time has crossed uh, around 5 minutes 10 minutes within the 10 minutes i can't uh, cover the transfer service demo sorry for that if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel so that it will motivate me to upload more videos about the google cloud platform thanks a lot have a great day